There are a lot more redheads in Lloydminster today. The MS Society is kickstarting their Enerflex MS Walk campaign with its annual Streak for MS event. The MS Society teamed up with Chatter's Salon to help fight against multiple sclerosis. For a $5 donation, you could help the MS Society by getting a red streak. There was strong support from the public with Lloyd FM's Heather Clagus and Kurt Price coloring their hair, as well as Lloydminster Bobcats left winger Mitch Deacon. It's great to be out in the community and getting support from all the local fans and you know, like just helping everyone out. I mean, they come to our games and support us and we got to do the same for them. The support of this community has always been stellar and uh, we can't say enough about the Lloydminster Bobcats organization and what they've done to really join the fight against MS and step up to really put a spotlight on the disease and its prevalence in this community. Organizers hope this raises enough awareness for their Enerflex MS Walk campaign that they surpassed last year's fundraising total of $142,000. The new goal is $170,000, a figure that would go a long way to helping area sufferers like Ryder's Uncle Jesse and Marilyn Mark. Since I have MS, it means an awful lot. It shows support for those that are struggling with it and brings awareness. It's just really important to know that these, um, this money goes towards people who are dealing with MS and that it just gives them a support system so that they're not feeling so alone and not dealing with this on their own. The 14th annual Enerflex MS Walk goes Saturday, April 28th at Bud Miller Park. The MS Society is hoping to have 500 walkers or 50 teams join. Joining us now is our host of Around the Region, Caleb Buchanan, and we've got a great show tonight. Definitely. And uh, viewers have a chance for a little extra fun on it. Yeah, it's really exciting. We have some tickets to give away to see Stuart McLean at the Vic Juba Theatre. All you have to do is like our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter at Around the Region. Excellent, and there's going to be some basketball highlights and a lot of fun, uh, an old tournament in it. Oh, definitely. Um, we're going to kick off the show with some Valentine's Day themed things. There is um, a fundraiser for the Children's Wish Foundation. They're also, uh, Lakeland College is doing uh, some fun little uh, comedies, the mm -hmm. romantic comedies that they're doing. Uh, we went to Bonneville and their uh, elementary school there is doing a really good breakfast program that we check out. And then, of course, we recap the Hugh Morrell basketball tournament. RCMP are asking for your help in finding those responsible for a break and enter at the Wilkie Pharmacy. Early Wednesday morning, two people stole an undisclosed amount of prescription drugs from the store. RCMP are looking for the suspects in a small four-door gray car. If you have any information on this or any other crime, you are urged to contact RCMP or Crime Stoppers. A Canadian icon is currently visiting Cold Lake and touring Four Wing. Singer and Canadian Idol judge Sass Jordan met with some of the members of the 417 Squadron this morning as she got a little insight of what goes on at the airbase. These people are the most dedicated, amazing human beings and they take what they do really seriously. You know, I think that's a really, really, really amazing thing that we have here in Canada. She is just able to see what we do on the base here at Four Wing Cold Lake and the community itself. So we're very happy to have her here. The tour began yesterday with a flight in a rescue helicopter and we'll wrap up with a visit to the 419 and 409 squadrons. It's unbelievably complicated flying one of these things. I mean, crazy. Not to mention the maintenance that goes into it. That's even more, it's, it's insane what these people do every day. The tour wraps up on Friday. Lloyd FM is having an auction tomorrow to win a one-of-a-kind Valentine's performance with Victoria Banks. Money raised will go to support the 2012 Relay for Life and the highest bid will receive a Valentine's Day surprise. Bids can be made anytime between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. tomorrow package, on Lloyd FM's Facebook page or by call. Performance with Victoria Banks for about 30 minutes, so she's donated her time and she's very excited to support this cause and really excited to be back in Lloydminster next week on Valentine's Day. As well, we have some flowers from Abbey Road. We have dinner for two from The Root, and we're going to have a signed Victoria Banks CD and a couple tickets for the show next week. Bids can be made anytime between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. tomorrow on Lloyd FM's Facebook page or by calling the number on your screen. Kay encourages people to give generously to support a good cause and spice up a special day. So, of course, for Valentine's Day, you can get the standard 
uh, you know, card or chocolates or flowers, but this is extra special because she is a CCMA award-winning artist and songwriter. To have her come to your house or place of business if you're the successful bidder, I think is a pretty cool treat because she's going to bring her guitar, tell you the stories, and uh, sing a few songs for you both for about 30 minutes. And it's like it's a party in your kitchen or your, your boardroom if you're in office, of course. The celebrity singer-songwriter is on an acoustic tour with Charlie Major and is passing through for a show at the Vic Juba Theatre on Valentine's Day. She was at last year's Relay for Life and felt like supporting the cause again this year. So when she was coming to Lloyd, she really wanted to do something uh, for a charity like we did last year with the, with the concert at Lakeland College. So we presented this idea, a little spin on Valentine's Day, and she was really excited and uh, we can't wait to have her again. For more details, visit 959lloyd.fm.com.